Hey, I'm Decathlon Gamer, and this is The Road to the Record, where I work to team mastery of 10 games in a hunt for the best score of the decathlon. If you'd like to see, remember to hit that like button. If you want to see more, hit subscribe. Let the games begin. This is Draft Day Sports College Basketball 2019, episode 39. We're now into the offseason here. It's April of 2027, heading into the 2027-2028 season. Where he wrapped up the season ranked 7th in the land, but only got to the Sweet 16, so not quite as far as we could have or even should have gotten as we were knocked off by Oklahoma State, 13th ranked team in the nation. We're going to be heading into Conference B this next year. But in the meantime, we've got some work to do this offseason. First and foremost, we have some staff replacements to now take care of. Our first assistant is still signed on for two more years. Our third assistant still had a year left on his contract, but it was getting set to expire and I went to renew him and he wanted a promotion. A promotion that I didn't have an option to be able to give to him because, you know, both of the two spots above him were filled. And then the second assistant went and retired when the year ended, but it was at the same time that said promotion could have potentially happened, so I lose both of them. So I have two vacancies to fill right now. So I have my scouting and recruiting staff roles uh, to fill, and we're on to uh, job hiring. So we'll get into first mine, and we'll skip past that. I'm not going anywhere love the team. I love the program. We've built it from the ground up, and I'm sticking with it till the day I die. All right, so on to staff hiring. Let the fun begin. We'll see what we can grab. We've uh, had a pretty expensive set of guys. We've gotten better and better on the coaches available to us as our school prestige has risen considerably from where we were. I can see that there's guys with some pretty high reputation available to us not so long ago. We couldn't grab more than about a 12. Uh, but that, that has definitely come up a lot, so there there are some good coaches out there. Including this guy, but they, they want a lot of money. <laughs> they want a lot of money, and we're still on a relatively limited budget when it comes to things. We, we've seen that budget rise, and as we get into Conference B, we should be able to get it to rise more and more pretty much yearly. But there's definitely a lot more options out there than, than what I had previously. So we're, we need a recruiter first and foremost, and so I want to get kind of the best guy I can get my hands on and in terms of budget. This is a guy with a lower reputation. He's not that great overall, but he's a really good recruiter. <laughs> that's actually our that, that's our guy, isn't it? That it is. Van Bacon was the guy that I had. That was our third assistant. Maybe I do bump him up to second assistant now. He was making about fifty thousand. Let's see if he'll take a little less than what he was making before. Let's go forty six thousand, and we'll sign him up for four years. And second assistant, sure. So it, it would be nice if we can get Van Bacon on that promotion that he wanted. Uh, you can see he's not quite as good as some of these other guys around him, but in terms of cost, uh, he should be far, far more affordable to us. Now, we need a scout for the third role. However, that's not necessarily something I'm as worried about. Uh, I think I want to get somebody who's going to help in the player development and coaching side of things uh, a bit more, however, while still kind of staying within our budget. Uh, we got Bobby Collins here of Fresno State, who is pretty well-rounded and a good scout. Uh, that might be who we go for. I mean, there are some better options here, but again, we don't have the budget to pay these guys $70,000 to get them to sign on, though a couple of them do not have anyone right now. Mm -hmm. Tempting, tempting. I wonder, I wonder, could we? He doesn't have a job right now. 
we go third assistant try 50,000 and we'll go four years we'll give it a shot all right so we're gonna run day see what happens with these guys van Macon takes the job okay so van Macon uh, decided to stay with us and take the promotion so he's gone from third assistant up to second the other guy did not sign on though the other guy did not sign on so uh, we're down to one vacancy that's good that is very good uh, but the availability just dropped a bit didn't it Bobby Collins was the other guy I was looking at. He did sign with somebody. He went to somebody else. I lost track of who that was. And all of these guys have jobs already, so I'd be stealing them away from someone somewhere. I like this guy. I like that this guy definitely wants less money than some of those around him. So third assistant, yes. Okay, so we'll go for Bobby Collins this time. He's pretty balanced, decent coach. I'm gonna try forty-six thousand. That's double his minimum. And we'll go for three years. Make offer, run day. And no, did not sign, did not sign, but still available. So we'll try to offer him a little more money, say 49,000 for three years, make offer, run day, Bobby Collins goes to Arizona. Okay, assistant number two. Higher position, that makes sense. Arizona, higher prestige than we are, that makes sense. All right, so that, well, that that's not so good. Uh, what do we have here? Reputation, Keith Brown, Tennessee. Oh boy, he wants a lot of money. If we drop down to here, here's a decent scout. Decent reputation. Not crazy on the money. Good player development. Jim Ferry. Yeah, we'll give you a shot. Uh, your double is 44. Let's start at 47,000. And we'll go three years. No. Still available though. Bump that up to 50. Stay at three years. Make offer. He's probably already higher than a third assistant, which is why we're not able to steal him away for the kind of money we're trying to get him for. Wondering if I need to go after one of these other guys. I mean, they all have jobs. That's the thing. When you try to hire a third assistant and they already have a job, why would they come to you if it's going down? Let me see. Who I would look in reputation-wise. All of these guys. All of them have a job. Here's where we get to no job, all the way down to eight reputation and base stats. I mean, they're, they're very much nothing, so no, we're going to have to try to steal somebody away. Two highest reputation guys definitely want the most money in the group. And if we can't get Jim Ferry, how are we going to get those guys? Keith Brown, what, what is the difference? Player development, much better coach all around. Okay, let's try Jim Ferry again. Uh, we'll go 52,000 and maybe we'll give him four years.
No, still can't get him. Okay, I don't think we're going to be able to sign Jim Ferry. I think that's kind of just where we're at. So, do we go down to Jim Morris? Or, who's cheaper here? Greg Gottlieb? Gottlieb? Gottlieb. Oregon State. He wouldn't be moving far. Of course, that's not a factor here. Good recruiter, per se. Definitely less money than these guys. Uh, let's give it a shot. We could probably get him for quite a bit less. I mean, his mid-range is about 40000 uh, We'll just go for a couple years on that deal because it's not somebody I want long term. Still no. Wait, where'd you go? There you are. Okay, 43,000. Stay with two years. Still no. Is it the years? Probably. But like I said, he's probably already, you know, a second assistant or at least a third assistant, obviously, as he's. Got a job. 45. Especially at the pay, I don't want to bump up the years. That might be what it's going to take at this point. I might have to add on another year to get him to sign on. So we'll go 47. Wait, wait, wait. Oi, where did he go? He's not there. Did I get him? Wait, 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 wait. Did I get him? Did he sign on? Oh, he did. I didn't see him on the list, but he did sign on. Okay. Good. Good. He, see, he's been working for a while. Well, he's got four years experience. Van Aken, his two years experience were with us. I'm going to swap their roles. So I need to switch staff roles. Uh, let's go, how do I change that? I forget. It's been a while. Uh, da, 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 da. Coach Simons, there it is. You are gonna be recruiting and then scouting, good. All right, coaching staff taken care of. We move on. Advance. We got our guy, and actually between the two of them, I think we saved probably about 8,000, 10,000 from where we were, so that's a bit more money to go into the scouting budget. And that's helpful. That is very helpful. Ah, here we go. Chance to meet with the board, and as we got the Facilities improved two years back. It is absolutely budget that I want to go for. Let's see if we can get an increase in that. We're going into Conference B. You would think that they would be up for that, but no, no. What is their reason? We think you're doing just fine with the budget you already have. Okay. Uh, I could have hired better coaches with more money. All right, well, season comes to an end. We're going to move into that 2027-2028 season with our coaching staff now. It's going to be on to recruiting here shortly. And we'll need to look at the roster, see how many vacancies we're going to have and where they're at and what the needs are to fill before we can go in and actually try to pick out what players we're going to go for. 
But if you watched last season's recruiting special, uh, you would see that I have now gone national. So I've gone from recruiting just West Coast to recruiting nationally. I think we're big enough brand, big enough program now. More so because of what conference we're playing in than the actual prestige we've built as a program. Because I think we're still uh, 48 or so in terms of prestige. So we're still only really halfway to where we need to be. We've got a long ways to go prestige-wise. But now we have the added tool of we can recruit facilities now that it's as high as it is. Uh, we could already recruit academics. We could recruit the the distance, the range, the close to home uh, all along. And those were the only two things we had for a long time, that and academics. But now we can also recruit the conference prestige, especially now that we're moving up to conference B. So there's a lot more options on what I can use as a recruiting tool that allows us to kind of go after most anybody we want other than a few of those top 10 guys that are still committed to school prestige. All right, so recruit class rankings. We only had two players coming in. So it's a very small class for us, but it is top 25 with even just two players, 17th in the nation. That is good. That is very good uh, and much higher than where we were a season ago with just two players coming in. Uh, North Carolina, Florida, Michigan State on top. This is going to start to matter more, I think, going forward than it has in the past now that I'm starting to get up to the big time. Uh, and just looking at this, North Carolina, Florida, top two. Preseason rankings, guess who's the top two? And guess who's still not ranked in the top 25? Because we just don't have the prestige to kind of get that recognition. Uh, 191,000. Seven scholarships to offer. Seven. This is the most I've ever had. This is really bad. Uh, this could be a really good season, but next season could be an absolute nightmare. All right, we start with buying reports. We're definitely going to need... 47,000. You know what? I don't need a report. I don't. It's okay. We're going to skip. Save that 10,000. We've got 47,000 to spend, but if I'm going to recruit seven players, oh my goodness. Uh, I'm going to do it without the reports. You have new mail. You have new mail. The reports don't help much anyway. The main thing they really give you is what the GPA is initially. So you can skip some of the players that you would recruit otherwise. I like this. My alma mater. Rank number six. All right. You go, guys. And I think I'm up into your conference now unless you bounce back. They were conference A, uh, but they had been relegated. They were in conference B last season and had a good season. So I don't know if they got a promotion or not. Players transferring. Okay, good. Thank you because uh, I've got enough on their way out already. <laughs> I don't have any right now, transfer-wise, right? This is next year where I'm going to have seven. Yeah, no scholarships open, so we are just going to uh, skip. Skippity, skip, skip. You have new mail. You have new mail. Okay, so there's players moving school to school. Uh, this is one feature in the game that I've never gotten that much into. I've, I've done a couple transfers, uh, maybe three all time, dating back to the 2017 and the 2019. This could be a year for that, though. I, I very well uh, might not be taking in seven players. So I might take in five and have a couple left and, and could potentially take one transfer in that could sit for a year and then, and, and, you know, come out that next year and that, that could be a good thing. Uh, so this could be a year for that. 
this coming year, but certainly not now. All right, summer travel. Uh, never mind the camps. Again, they are so useless to me. I, I trust my own scouting far more than what I get from those camps uh, because instantly I'm always getting new information on those guys after. So uh, we're just going to skip all of these and save that money for where we need it, how we need it. So we're moving along. Now, a lot of you may prefer to look at your roster as soon as you get the opportunity. I, I like saving it. I, I like waiting. Um, I, I have a fair amount of patience. Okay, here we go. 20, 27 drafts. Syracuse go top two and fourth overall. Holy cow. And they weren't even close to winning the national championship. Speaking of, here's the results from last season. Final four. One seed, North Carolina, against ninth-seeded Cincinnati. And Cincinnati won that game, 68-56, to get into the national championship game. And then, the other half of the Final Four, one-seeded Duke against one-seeded Utah. And Duke won 94-66. So your national championship matchup between Cincinnati and Duke was won by Duke, 72-45. So Duke was the national champion uh, this past season. They entered this season ranked number three, so they're definitely among the favorites and have the potential to repeat. So I have nobody in the top 14. Did I have anyone get drafted? I only had one player going out that mattered, and it was Joey Walter, and he does get himself into the fun-loving role of being on the worst team in the NBA as the first pick of the second round. 31st overall power forward Joey Walter does get picked up. That's nice for him, though, because I have not had too many players in my history that have been drafted, so nice job there to uh, get picked up. But we're on to the recruiting cycle. But like I was saying, I have patience. I have a, a fair amount of patience, I like to think doesn't always last. Some of it was a decade as a teacher, 15 years as a coach, owning a daycare, that all, you know, that, that plays out. It matters uh, when it comes to patience. But uh, one example I like to give of how I have patience, and I need to check this real quick. Okay, Lockwood, uh, you're a senior this year, Lockwood, so never mind, never mind. Uh, he'll be okay. Uh, let's start with the seniors, though, uh, and that story. Let me let me tell that story real quick before I put it off too many times. Uh, it'll only take a second. So, holiday after holiday, uh, birthday is a really good example because you know I don't have others to compete with on that. Uh, though my sister and I are actually only a week apart from each other, we've often had our birthday celebration at the exact same date, especially as adults. Irrelevant though. On my birthday, so many times I've been told, oh, don't you want to open gifts? No, I'm good. I'm good. Hours go by and my family's going absolutely crazy going, can we go open gifts now? Can we go open gifts now? Uh, just, I actually enjoy being so patient that it drives others crazy. Uh, I don't know. I get a kick out of it. Anyway, so here are our seniors and it's more than half the roster. Uh, ouch. Davies, a senior. Fleming, a senior. So two centers on their way out. We've got Nick Few, a senior. All scholarship guys. So three post players. And then we have a walk-on here in Largent, who's a senior. We have Emery, who's a senior this year, our small forward. Uh, we also have Kirk Thomas, who's a senior. Uh, it's not really played much at all, uh, but that's one player on the way out. Campbell is a walk-on, and he's a senior and both of our starting guards. So at least as of last year, most of our starting lineup are now seniors. Could be a big year for us. 
especially when we only lost one key player and we brought in Udonis Cougar, one of the top recruits in the nation, true freshman this year, and very well could step up to be that starter. Otherwise, Nick Few, not bad himself. Uh, our other freshman is now Tim Thomas. So we'll see how those two are eventually. You can see how we're now recruiting nationally as Thomas is from Arkansas. And we still have our West Coast guy in Cougar from Hawaii, and it did help uh, that Hawaii is considered a neighbor state to Oregon in this game uh, in the recruiting of him. So we got one <laughs> uh, beyond the, the West Coast. Uh, and Davies, of course, is from England, but that was our big transfer that we got in. So that was the first time that I've ever had a transfer be successful and be a big pickup for us. Uh, but look at the roster. A lot, 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 lot going out. And I think we had at least one from every position. So I need a point guard, even though we've got a top one in Thomas, but I'm going to need a point guard. I have two shooting guards going out, but we do have a freshman and Kennedy. And then we have... Two small forwards going out. Uh, technically three, if you count uh, our walk-on. Power forward. Again, one going out. We have true freshmen there, but again, we're only going to have one left. And centers. So I need one player for every position, and I'm going to ignore the other two scholarships. Uh, I might take somebody in on transfer, one of those best available kind of things, and then save the other one for next year. So one player for every position. We're going to bring in a whole new crop of players, and that's kind of rough. Makes me a little bit nervous uh, because we cannot isolate. Let's go with... The entries list first. Let's see who's already. There's nobody. What? There's no players. What the heck is going on? Try to tell me that there's not a single player that's interested. We got seven scholarships available, and there's not one player interested. Not even, you know, the low-ranking guys. Something was wrong with that. All right. Well, here's the top players in the nation. I don't know if I should necessarily mess around with the top 10, but at the same time, it is what it is. Um, I don't, maybe I skip just top five, start at six. I still haven't been able to get any players in the top 10. They're, they're always demanding a little too much and a little beyond our reach. Um, maybe I'll start, well, let's see, are any of these guys West Coast? So, I won't put all of them on my list. I'll put my the West Coast guys on the list. In the top ten. Um... Okay. All right. Well, that saved a few spots on our short list. We could only get so many players on the short list. Now I think we can start going after everybody. I will probably need to get after at least one JC transfer because I don't want to have seven freshmen, or five freshmen for that matter. That's the reason to go for the transfer for one of the spots. That's also the reason to hang on to one. 
I don't want to have myself set up for seven all at the same time. So this was really bad on my part to be put in this position where I had seven guys graduating all at the same time. There definitely were some JC guys here on the list so far, so we're down to number 45 in the rankings. We're up to 56 overall. I've got a pretty healthy list here, and we're going to be stopping in just a moment out of uh, being beyond capacity that's 60 let's let's see where we're at now because I can recruit pretty well inside the top 60 these days so what I want to do now is go with watch list and we'll look position by position see how many guys we have we have Four, five, six, skipped one there. Seven, eight, ten. Okay, ten's a good number. I'm happy with that to look at ten players. Here we're missing number one and ten. So that's nine players on the shooting guard list. That's sufficient. Small forward, we're missing one. Three, five. So that's only seven. That's a little thin. And I'm losing three small forwards. We're missing, let's see, one. So that's ten. Okay, we're missing just two and nine and we've got some extras so we've got a lot of centers uh, so I could use a couple more small forwards so we're gonna go like this uh, what was the last small forward I had well we ended at 60 so we'll here we go ooh I'm at a I'm at my limit anyway. <laughs> so I'm at my limit. Uh, that, that'll have to do. That'll have to do. So I'll go back to my watch list. So everybody I'm after in the top 60, apparently there was no... In oh, that's why there's no interest. I didn't have any reports. See, if I had reports, I would have known who had interest. Well, I'm used to players not having the interest in the first place anyway. So you can see just a few guys inside the top 10. And we'll start with watching film. So five of the top 10 are West Coast. Wow. And a lot of these guys are going to end up being eliminated by GPA. It'll happen. Now and we'll call right from the top of the list. And nice, the very first guy says, sure, coach, why not? All right, well, this will make this easy. School prestige, yes, but... Conference Prestige. We're in Conference B. I finally feel like I can actually recruit these. And location matters. Nevada, not so great on that. Playing time. I think you might want playing time to be favored towards starters. And I'm kind of balanced on that, though. I mean, my starters do get 30, 32 minutes a game. So we have stuff we could potentially recruit. 
could I grab the number two player in the nation? Probably not. Probably not. Whoa. Nice. Well, he, oh, we were out of call time, but I got through to the number two guy on my list as well. First try. Number four player in the nation. The number one point guard in the nation. Who doesn't care one iota about academics? You're just here to play ball. Well, we're not USC. We're not put you, putting you on a rowing scholarship, so. You have new mail. All right, first week in the bag. Now we're going to start to get some information. As we enter the 4th of July, and now we can see there is some interest up and down the list. And now I have GPA on my entire list as my coach, assistant coach, helped me out with that. All of the, the top 10 guys are all A's, all top scorers, and of course that makes perfect sense. They're all in the top 15 recruits in the nation. So now we can take a moment to go through and eliminate those who will not qualify on GPA. 2.9 is enough. 2.5 is not. Definitely not qualified. 2.8 is my limit. Anything below that needs to get Deleted, that's a lot of 2.8s. 2 2.5, 2 2.7, but from Idaho. Um, no, not, not going to risk it, not going to risk it. 2.8 is the minimum. I would hate to waste a bunch of time on recruiting him and then find out later that he's not qualified had that happen far too many times and 2.8 is already pushing it 2.3 junior college no no I don't want you coming in and unable to maintain your grades I've had that happen it's super annoying it's like so annoying 2.2 That's okay, he's JC transfer at a 2.7. That's high enough maintaining his grades. Where are we at? Number 57, so we're just about to the bottom of the list here. 2.5. And back to the top. That'll shorten the list up a bit. Still a lot of players, though. And checking interest levels. There's a fair amount of guys that have that initial interest. That's a good start. Now I've got call list active, so let's go ahead and resume that task. School prestige, nothing else. Goodbye. It's been nice knowing ya. Nice, I haven't even called this guy my assistant coach, or he just had some interest in us naturally. And we're out of time, otherwise we would have gotten everything. School prestige, most first and foremost again. I said these top tens are going to be really hard to get our hands on, so we're going to let him go as well. So now we're down to just three players in the top ten, and that's just fine. I, I'd be really setting myself up for failure if the five guys I went for were all in the top ten when I've never recruited anybody in the top ten. Top 20, I, I can definitely get my hands on in the right circumstances. Top 30, I can absolutely get down to those guys so we'll get through it 
we'll get there, but uh, I don't want to be overzealous in, in the players that I go for. All right, we, we watch film on 10 more. I have no idea if we have anybody from Oregon, who, of course, would be our easiest to recruit if they like location. And then, of course, Hawaii, Washington, California, Idaho all have a boost on that. And then anybody West Coast has a partial boost on that. And we're down to, what, number 30 now, second week. I could scout somebody live, but that's pretty expensive unless they are from Oregon. Ah, there is somebody from Oregon. We'll spend 75 to go have a look. I think just the one. What if we get national camps? Yeah, delete all, delete all, give it you. Summer camp. You Let's go to camp. Let's not go to camp. You have new mail. Can we just recruit already? You have new mail. I guess if you have a huge budget, those camps are helpful. When you don't, you do what you can. I've only ever been to the Vegas one, I've never gone to the others, and I've only done that when I've had the big budget because I couldn't hire any decent coaches, and we had plenty of money and only a couple of scholarships to go around. Alrighty, so getting a little further down this list, still all A's in the top 30, which makes perfect sense, usually it's the top 50. generally speaking. And there's our Oregon guy. Yeah, top 50. A overall. I'll skip over him for now. Gets us down to 47 and a much smaller list to fill out next week on that first look. get the first guy all the way. Right, yeah. That's right, I just eliminated the other guys because I actually looked and there's another one, School Prestige only. Not going to recruit that guy. Still in the top ten, by the way. It's actually really good that I've become so good at coaching, or uh, recruiting, that I can call these guys up and get through to them pretty quick. I mean, that's actually the first player who's hung up on me in three weeks. And even my assistant coaches now, uh, unlike before where they were utterly useless, are helpful. Kareem Snotty, Conference Prestige, very important for him. I'm in Conference B. I mean, there's only a single conference with more prestige than the one that I have now. So we can definitely recruit a player like this who is an A in scoring, an A in passing, an A in rebounding, a B in defense, an A in stealing his inside and outside shot, and very athletic to boot. And number 11, just outside of the top 10. So I could potentially recruit this guy out of Maryland. I mean, that's crazy that we could potentially bring in a player of this level, of this caliber. All right, uh, have I already set? Yes, I already set that, and we're out of call time, so we go to summer camp. Da-da-da-da-da-da! -da 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 -da. We're sitting around the campfire. Oh, wait, no, they're playing basketball. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Don't we want to sing songs around the campfire? Doesn't that sound like more fun? And basketball? No, no, no. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe we could play campfire, play basketball around the campfire, right? That'd be a, a good jump ball to start the game right over top of the campfire. Both players standing in the, the hot coals. See? The game can evolve. Once upon a time, there was no three point line. Now, there definitely was no aspect to the game that made the three-point line more important than 
anywhere else on the court. All right, so, so we are moving along. We are moving along and still all A's as we get down to the last phase here. First group anyway. Ooh, just getting them all. Which means I think I have, what, 40 left on the list? No, less than that. So we've eliminated some at the top. So we're below 40 already. And at this point, it looks like there very well could be a situation where I don't eliminate anyone off my list based on ability. And that's, that's odd, because I'm used to letting so many guys go because they can't defend because they're really bad scorers, because they're terrible ball handlers, that kind of stuff. Uh, if I have a, a list of nothing but A's with just a few guys from about here down that are probably going to be B's. If I have a C, that, that'll get them eliminated off the list, I suppose. No reason to go after those guys. I know I can recruit well now. <laughs> we'll see. I haven't done it on this scale. Got to be careful of that budget. Which we are. We saved a lot of money in not attending camps that we didn't need to attempt. Here was the one guy who hung up on us last week, but the assistant coach had a chat with him, apparently, and uh, we got through. School prestige, location, uh, Arizona. I'm not going to recruit that very well. Not going to recruit that very well, and he's still top 10, so Dixon... He's out. Snotty. Yeah, there you go. Snotty definitely can be recruited. School prestige matters, but I don't know the rest of the list yet. All right, well, there is our first set of recruiting in the bag. We've got quite a ways to go until we hit September and can actually offer something. Uh, I, I'm not sure yet whether I'll do another episode re regarding recruiting or not or whether we'll kind of jump into uh, the season and see where we're at at that point. I doubt that I'm going to have all five or all seven <laughs> spots filled. Uh, by the time we hit the regular season, I will still have some recruiting to do this year, so we might just kind of jump into the season, get that first update, see if we have two or three guys wrapped up at that point, and then see where else that we're at. So I think next episode will open with the beginning of the regular season. But that's going to do it for this episode. I'm Decathlon Gamer, and remember, I'm aiming for the best of the best. So if you're ready to join me on my journey, hit subscribe, and tune in next time on my Road to the Record. Bye for now.